How's it going guys? This is Jacob from Otak Corner, Texas. Brand new channel and the first video on this channel. We're gonna cover a lot of things and I'll probably make an introductory video later. I would really like to get into this set to show you what's in here and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna get it started. Like I said, I'll make an introductory video later to tell you guys what's up with this channel and what you can expect. If you like what you see today, go ahead and um, just leave a comment or something or like the video. That would be really great. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it and uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so here's the quite amazing World War Robot Portable Grunt Bumper Pack. Like I said, this thing is massive. I'm gonna bring up the box just so you guys can see again. So here's the one that one grunt and one square came in and it is, it is tiny. Uh, let's even, let's just do a little measurement on this really quick. Okay, it looks like it's about 15 inches wide. Wow. By... And it is about 11 and a half inches tall. Okay, um, so on the front we've got a great illustration of these grunts um, just walking around. In the bottom corner it says, 1 12th mode grunt. Uh, we're gonna go down to the bottom side. Oh, and it looks like we're gonna have to flip it upside down. Plus four random unseen squares, and there's four illustrations of the squares. Um, and on the back side, it is quite white. Um, let me focus. It just completely blends in with the background, so I'm gonna get close up on all the graphics. It looks like we've got four grunts here, followed by three little black lines that go to the words cheaper than robots, easier to program, welcome to war, bumper pack, grunt. And up here it says what's included, uh, let me see if I can get a little closer, Sand Devil 666 Private Fox, Deep Powder Corp Private Dunn, After Hours Stealth Private, and DIY uh, with a little blank. Oh, and, DIY, and it says Stealth Private, and then it has uh, a few asterisks, so I wonder what that means. On the other side it says meat for the machines grunt and then it's got their little uh, Factions with sand devil deep powder stealth and DIY All right, so I am very ready to cut into this. So let's go ahead. The World War Robot Portable Grunt Bumper Pack. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get in close with each one and then we will get to each square individually. Okay, so let's start that now. So here we have them all together. Each grunt, um, the white kind of disappears against the background there. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get up close with one of them and uh, cause they, all the accessories, everything that comes with them is the same. And yeah, so I'll get up close to the one that looks best on camera and we'll uh, kind of review its articulation a little bit and what it comes with. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and have ourselves a look at the articulation of the World War Robot Portable Grunt. Um, <laughs> we'll start with the head. Uh, with most 3A figures, the head is on a ball joint not at the top of the neck, but at the base, where it would connect kind of to the collarbone or to the shoulders, kind of down here a little bit, but not not at the head. Um, so his jacket is really, really puffy. Um, he's got a lot of things on him. So he his head movement's pretty limited, but he is kind of made to just sit there and look like a total badass, right? I mean, just stand up and just look kind of daunting. Um, the arms, I've kind of disassembled a little bit of the DIY grunt to give you guys an idea. The arms have a shoulder joint up here on each side that allows the arms to come in kind of so it looks like he's hunching down a little bit and they also pull back really far. But on top of that, 
it's got kind of like this ball joint motion up here with a little bit of swivel. At the elbow, it's actually double jointed, so you can bring it in real, real close. Um, I think his elbow is actually facing the wrong way on, on this arm. Um, let's see. Here we go. Okay, so like I said, you can bring in his arm really close to his, kind of to his mouth a little bit. And uh, now I can bring you back to kind of show you the arms. The arms aren't necessarily on a ball joint, but more or less this, it does this kind of 360 swivel motion and it pivots up and down. So uh, yeah, not a ball joint, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> he, all, Like I said, they all have that double jointed elbow though. He does have an ab crunch. Uh, you can't really tell that well, but he does. And he can kind of swivel on that, on that crunch. And it goes, it's a pretty good crunch for how much, kind of, the amount of accessories that he's wearing. The thighs are connected at the top of the leg with the ball joint. And you can swivel them all the way left, all the way right, uh, even in a circle if you really wanted to. The knees are also on one of these double joints so you can bend it in real tight. The legs, however, and this is like really my only gripe with the way 3A does these kinds of figures, um, the grunts specifically, there is no articulation in the foot really. It's just, that's where they would put a peg and then another smaller shoe and then it'd be on like kind of, kind of a double ball joint there, but it, the shoe just pegs in and he kind of has to stand static. Um, so you really have to work with the shoes to get him in any cool poses. Um, yeah, so that's about it for articulation. Uh, now we're going to move on to a bit of the pouches, a bit of the accessory. So each grunt comes with two weapons. The first being this kind of SMG little pistol thing. Uh, it's it's more or less a, uh, a tiny like kind of submachine gun with a scope. Um, it's really small, they hold it really well. Let me see if I can get him to hold it really quick. Uh, so there's his hand. His hand has a trigger finger, so it's basically ready to start shooting. And it fits right in there. Perfect. Um, so yeah, that's the first accessory they come with. The second is this shotgun um, that all the guns come with, and all the guns come with this submachine gun too. But we've got this shotgun, nothing moves on it, uh, the pump looks nice though, actually. It looks like it could move. And it's also got that trigger, so you can have him hold it in his trigger hand. And he can hold the other side with his little holding hand. And pretty well, too, actually. It's kind of awkward there. I'd have to get him in some really good poses <laughs> and take a little while. But uh, that's... Oh, that's not it for the accessories. They all come with a gun strapped to their Velcro vest up here. So we'll pull that out. And it's just a little pistol. Um, they can also hold that really well. A little revolver. The vest, like I said, like I just mentioned, is Velcro. So you can rearrange a few of the things on here. Uh, there's three little Velcro strips. You can move the gun down if you want and kind of bring the little utility patch up here. But then the gun's kind of hidden. Um, but you can, you can really just mess with that however way you want to. We'll leave the gun aside for a second. On the back, he's got these hanging little sub pouches uh, on that side. This pouch kind of holds his little oxygen tank thing. Um, it's in there, it, and it connects to the wire that goes up to his mouth. On the back, he's got a tiny mini kind of like butt-ridden backpack, <laughs> and he has a working backpack. I love this about the portable grunts. The backpack actually works. You can unzip it and everything, and it's got uh, some foam inside. Just some extra foam. All the grunts also come with the shield. His says Fallen. Um, this little arm shield, it's kind of a nice touch. You can move it around, move it to the other arm if you want. What I haven't seen with any of the grunts that I have, uh, which actually is just one, I didn't notice that they cut up the vest this much, and um, or the jacket. That's actually kind of great. It's really weathered. The jacket's cut up really nice. I think they did a really good job on that. 
I'm going to switch back to the DIY to show you a little bit more of the inside. Okay, so here's the DIY again. Uh, so I kind of pulled off the vest on this guy. And underneath there is a t-shirt that says 3A. So they all have this t-shirt just kind of corresponding with their colors. And there's the classic old 3A logo um, with the red and blue. Um, like you can see here, underneath all the pouches and stuff, they've got this really cool kind of like lab coat almost sort of thing. Uh, and that's what you're seeing in the desert grunt. Uh, that's what's torn up on the desert grunt here. But yeah, underneath all the pouches, just a really great jacket. Okay, so I think that's about all I'm going to do on the grunt. And we're going to move on to those four squares that we have not seen yet. Here we go. So here we have them, the World War Robot Portable Mark I squares. All right, we're going to start with this square. So I absolutely love this Mark I square. This is the P18 Made. I don't know if that's the exact name. I don't know even that I know the exact name of all these squares, but I'm just glad I have them. Um, so with the Mark I squares, they've got two eyes. On the side, same graphic, P18 Made, and it's got this, uh, this flap. It doesn't actually open, but that's kind of implied. On the top, we've got this logo. I don't really know which way the logo goes. I think it's like that. And here's a little spout that all of them have, black accent, on this spout. And on the back, then we have the logo again. Oh, okay, so that's that's the right way it goes. Um, with a little R, and it says P18 made. Uh, and they all have this kind of vent on the back. I guess it's where they let their exhaust out a little bit. Uh, and it says high voltage with a little indent here. On the bottom, we got like little black accented kind of booties, I guess, like little boots. <laughs> it's just its feet. Um, oh, and the articulation for anyone that doesn't know. Uh, there's like a, a 360 kind of swivelly thing here. All the Mark One squares have. And ball joints at the legs. And this little pivot, that little pivot foot. And you can basically focus again. You can basically stand them up anyway, like as long as you just get them on the ground and then just start pushing, they stay up. This one's not working with me. There it goes. It's kind of great. All right, let's move on to the next one. Here we have the V1 Rothschild. That's the little Rothschild logo, I'm pretty sure. Family Album Square. I'm gonna tell you right now, I absolutely love this square. Um, just as much as the P18 made. They're my two favorites from the four pack. Um, oh, and the, the logo, the, the decals just flipped. V1 R, R, V1, F album. Uh, I just love how perfect the circles are. There's a little black circle right there. Um, the consistency, it's just, this is just a really good square. On the bottom, he's kind of got like these accents, uh, white right here with the green weathered white and then kind of like that greenish blue leg on the back uh, His little flap actually doesn't say high voltage. It's just got the Rothschild logo, which is really cool on the top It says I know things What I mean, what does he know? What could this square possibly know that I don't? Um, yeah, just such good detail it's looking really great. Uh, and I hope you guys like this square as much as I like him. We're going to move on. What we have next is the... Fong John in the process of exile. Um, he looks great. He's all orange. He's got a little orange square, on, or a white square on his orange face. It says A-A-L-I, like I said, I just don't know what that means. Um, three squares on the top, great orange white. Same thing on this side, same thing on the other side. Um, high voltage again on his flap, and he's got these little orange boots with the white accents, kind of like the P-18. All right, let's keep going. Okay, coming to an end here, we have the Mod Zero or O'Day Square. Uh, this guy's pretty sweet. He's all purple. Or not all purple, you know, he's got these white accents. 
but he's mainly purple. His eyes are white. He's got a little white tooth. You know, he's cool. He's doing what he does. And just to kind of go over a little bit of the graphics, like I said, he's got this really cool kind of wonky circle on his face. Um, and right here it says, uh, cruff, crufty, crufty square, C-R-U-F-T-Y. I don't know what that means. That's crazy. On the back, on the back it says C-R-L-F. Maybe, there's probably some insight to this somewhere. Someone knows. Um, I do not. And I really like this little, like this piece of graffiti. It says froggy, P-H-R-O-G-Y, with a little guy's face on it. As if someone tagged this square. And I think that's really cool. Um, and he's got the, uh, the purple and white accents on his feet. It kind of just continues from his face to his feet. So he's got these little white boots on his feet. It's pretty cool. Um, so that's about it for that square. And uh, yeah, so we'll wrap this video up. All right guys, so here's the uh, bumper pack all together again. Um, thanks for watching the video. Hope you really liked it. If you did and you want to stick around for more videos, I know we, the next thing I have coming in is the uh, same, scale, World War, same scale World War Robot Portable Nom Emanation Field Commanders with the Birdie Mark 2.1. Uh, I'll leave a, like, a description to a link in the description to Google with an image of that so uh, you can look forward to that and if you are looking forward to that go ahead and subscribe like the video if you did like the video and just leave a comment on what you look forward to seeing thanks for watching uh, I hope to have you back on my channel again and have a good day